one. In this video, I'm going to take you through the experience of creating a parameter, a new functionality in Oracle Analytics Cloud, and also explain the different parameter definitions. Parameters are essentially user-defined variables or functions that can be used internally within your workbook definition. On the data panel UI, we've added a new tab to manage parameters. Let's navigate to the parameters tab and you can see that the workbook has a list of parameters already. When you create a workbook, regardless of the data set or the subject area or the data source that you connect to, the workbook will create a set of uh, presets called system defined parameters, such as current date, current time, current date time, display name and username. And then the rest of the parameters in this example are user defined parameters. To create a user defined parameter, cl click on the plus icon to open up the create parameter dialog, provide a name and an optional description and select a data type for the parameter and uh, choose allow multiple values if you need your parameter to um, store uh, multiple values. And uh, you can also provide a display name or an alias for your parameter values. A parameter at any time can have a list of possible values which can be defined uh, using uh, a static list of values that the author can create or the author can use a logical SQL query to fetch a list of possible values from the data source. And uh, initial value is essentially a value from the list of possible values which acts as a default value to initialize a parameter when the workbook or dashboard loads at runtime. Let's look at an example of a parameter that uses logical SQL query to fetch the possible values and also the initial value. In this example, uh, I'm trying to get the list of values for city. It's a multi-select parameter of text data type where allow multiple values option is turned on and the possible values is set to logical SQL query. And it's a simple select statement that fetches the city from uh, the data set sample order lines and it basically fetches the first 50,000 rows and the initial value is exactly the same query it only fetches the first row and uses the return value of city to uh, be used as a default value uh, or set as an initial value for the parameter definition now, let's go to the visualization panel and add a dashboard filter to the canvas and add the city multi-select parameter to the filter controls at this point this parameter acts as a filter for your end users and because it's a multi-select parameter user can select as many values as they can and these values are now the current values for the parameter definition and the values can be used elsewhere within your workbook uh, definition a parameter can similarly be added to the workbook filter bar or to the visualization filters, to expression filters, uh, can be used within calculations. A parameter can be nested as part of your uh, logical SQL query to fetch the possible or initial values. And just to conclude, the parameter styles can be different uh, when you expose the parameter as a filter control based on your parameter definition. Here's an example of a single select uh, list parameter a multi-select uh, list parameter and then a user input text uh, experience for getting input values from your users in the form of text or numeric values and then uh, finally uh, range uh, parameters for numeric and date ranges. And just to summarize, using parameters allows the user to design the consumer experience and workbook definitions to dynamically manipulate values at runtime without compromising the end user experience on the dashboard. Thank you for watching this video.